Sphinx Shaving Soap from SphinxBeard.com. We're going to shave with it. Coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and webchambers everywhere. It's Mark at GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. And thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. If this is your first visit here, welcome. Thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed this video and all the videos on my channel. Well, a company called SphinxBeard.com reached out to me. One of their individuals in sales marketing reached out to me and wanted to know if I was interested in reviewing some of their shaving soaps. And I said, sure. I went to their website and boy, it's just absolutely wonderful very well laid out easy to navigate and sphinxbeard.com is a men's grooming company they uh, have really top shelf products for the care and maintenance of men's beards they also sell wonderful shaving soap so they got you covered on both ends of the field if you want to grow a beard they have wonderful products for the care and maintenance of your beard if you want to shave they got some wonderful shaving soaps and aftershave splashes uh, and they sent me um, a couple of shaving pucks and a couple of aftershaves to try out I've already I've already uh, opened them up to kind of get the scent of it and they're both absolutely beautiful I've looked at the list of ingredients on these and they really are top shelf they really have some high high quality ingredients there I'm looking forward to an absolutely spectacular shave with this product now, uh, in their email that they sent me, they wrote the following. Our goal is to enhance the male grooming experience by offering products that allow a quick and easy application with little to no mess. We have searched the four corners of the earth for the best ingredients which allow us to passionately craft quality products with essential oils and botanical ingredients. That is very, very true from what I see here in their packaging and from what I see on their website and online store. Really, really amazing. Now they sent me two shaving pucks here and you can see here is the, uh, the box here. The box is generic for both of these uh, uh, shaving pucks, but the individual shaving pucks are labeled specifically as to what the product is. But what's nice is the box also has uh, the steps to making a great lather if you are involved in a traditional wet shave. So on both sides of the box. That's a nice, nice touch, especially if you're a first time uh, wet shaver. So it's really, really nice. Now here's the first one here, Citringe. This is absolutely terrific, terrific scent. And again, boy, they got some top shelf ingredients right here. I'm just going to, I'm just going to pass that in front of the lens there. So you can kind of get an idea of what the ingredients are. And I'll read off some of them to you. Okay, hopefully you got that. Uh, steric acid, beef tallow, goat's milk, shea butter, potassium hydroxide, cocoa butter, mango butter, glycerin, cocoa butter, castor oil. I mean, it is just uh, amazing. Avocado oil, coconut oil, uh, camellia oil uh, from Japan. This is amazing. I mean, very, very impressive list of ingredients here on this label. So I'm really looking forward to it. And, uh, you know, I'll show you. Yeah, a very, very nice, nice fragrance scent. And there it is. It's going to be first use uh, with this right out of the box. So let me set this aside here. Uh, the second, uh, the second uh, shave puck that they sent me was a uh, smolder. Boy, <laughs> this is a nice, manly, masculine scent. This is terrific. Yeah, that is wonderful. It's an original scent that they created. Uh, from what I recall reading on their website and there you get a look at it right there boy I'm really looking forward to using this but I'm going to use the citron first uh, because that's I'll tell you why exactly because of uh, because of the description on their their web page let me bring that up for you and you'll know why I'm going to be using it right now inspired by Creed's Millizim Imperial or Millizim Imperial Citrons takes you to a sunny beach where you can relax with the refreshing aromas of fruit lightly dusted with salt and the aroma of the sea. Tart lemon and sweet orange keep this fragrance full of energy 
and the salted fruit accord will mesmerize you time and time again. Just based on that, I have to use it. That is just absolutely wonderful. And the fragrance uh, out of the puck right now is very, very light. Uh, it is it is not overwhelming, and uh, that's a nice touch. Uh, so I'm going to get some hot, hot, hot water. I'm going to move my brush out of the way. Get some hot water on top of this puck because I'm going to going to allow it to bloom a little bit. And right now I have, I've got the puck out, and it is it is a beautiful fresh scent. Again, it's not hitting me over the head. It is a nice light fragrance but it is still very um, very much here in the in the now uh, i guess you could say so i'm going to put some hot water on there it's very very present that's my that's my point okay so i got some hot water right here and it is uh, an absolutely beautiful scent i guess what i'm saying is, is even though it's a light scent it still occupies this area, which is really, really nice. Okay, so we're going to be using my Peregrino shaving brush right here. I had it soaking in the sink, and I'm going to let that soak a little more. For my razor, I'm going to be using my Vikings Blade Chieftain 5BC razor. And we're going to be using a Supermax Blue Diamond razor blade. It's a first use. I already had it loaded up in there. And, of course, uh, Sphinx. 5BC, got to get the connection there. Yeah, not going to use any pre-shave soap because I want to see how this soap performs. And uh, we're going to finish it off with um, uh, the uh, Phoenix Shavings Allen Block right here with the no-slip grip and the dry dock system. And we're going to use the Citrin Aftershave right here, Aftershave Splash. Now this is a uh, milky white. Uh, inside the bottle. It does contain some alcohol, but boy, it has some great, great ingredients. Alcohol is not the first ingredient. Aloe vera juice is the first ingredient, and it has chamomile and uh, just a lot of other really great ingredients that are beneficial for your skin. So my assume, I'm assuming that the alcohol is there just to help with the small micro abrasions and that sort of thing, but the other stuff is just going to kick in and take over and really nourish the skin. Uh, the, <laughs> the printing on this is rather small. I'll try to put it on the screen or link to it so you can at least uh, read there for yourself what it is. And of course, they also gave me uh, some smolder, uh, a bottle of smolder aftershave. So we're going to be doing that with our second shave. But uh, this is going to be the initial shave to get acquainted with this artisan soap maker. Uh, it promises great, great things. I'm expecting a spectacular lather and spectacular shave. I'm going to let this warm up and kind of bloom for the equivalent of a nice hot shower. And I'll be right back to start to shave. So hang in there with me. Okay, that's been soaking for the equivalent of a nice hot shower. So I'm going to just take this and uh, take this water here and I'm just going to dump it out into the sink and I'm going to use that as a pre-shave of sorts. So we're going to wet the face and get to the shave. Okay, here's my brush, my Peregrino shaving brush from phoenixshaving.com. Just going to give it a little bit of a shake here. There's my puck right there, so we're just going to load this brush up and see what we got. Loading nicely. Um, <laughs> this is great. I'm going to need just a little bit of water here. I think I took out a little too much. But boy, that's nice. And it's a, it's a beautiful scent. It's a, again, it's a nice, light, fragrant scent. And it really is fresh. And it really does evoke the great outdoors by the sea. Wow, man, that, that is... This is going to make an outstanding lather. I can already see how this is. Wow. Okay. We're just going to go ahead. Man, this is really on the brush well. So let's go ahead and build a lather here. It looks like I'm going to have to add some water to this. Yeah, but man, oh man, did that load on the brush easily. Wow.
going to have to add a little more water. Always better to add water than not. First time out, I'm not sure of the water to soap ratio. That's why I wrung out a little more water out of the brush because I wasn't sure. This is a really nice, fresh, light, fragrant scent. It really does not hit you over the head at all. But it is a nice, fresh scent. Yeah, I like this scent a lot. It has some nice, subtle qualities. And man, my gosh, look at that. Look at that lather I got. Boom! Lather! That's, that is amazing! And I got a wonderful, thick, protective carpet of lather. And look how much I have on the brush. I, you know, I just, that's, that, that is astonishing. That really is. All right, I'm going to heat up my razor here. All right, there's some hot, hot, hot water. I'm going to swirl in the sink to bring it to temperature. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That offers some absolutely beautiful, beautiful glide. That is really, really nice. That's terrific. That is really terrific. That's marvelous. That's that's that is wonderful. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Wow, wow, very nice. Okay, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. Wow, that is a nice first pass. You know, I'm. That's a nice first pass. You know what? If I had to run out the door and go to the office, I'd be fine. That is, I think this is going to be a two pass shave because of the, of just the wonderful protection I'm getting with this this lather. It's really terrific. It is absolutely marvelous. And look how much lather I have in the brush here. All I have to do is just dip a little bit in the dip, dip the tips a little bit into the water here, and look how much look how it comes alive again. Wow! Look at that. That is that is wonderful. That's that I really I am I'm very very impressed by this. This is really really it lathered like it was often a shot. It just lathered on that brush. It loaded on the brush so quickly and built a lather so wonderfully. It was easy. And that's the thing, it was just easy to do. Alright, we're gonna go with pass number two, east to west across the grain. This razor has some really, really nice heft to it, so it really does all the work. The weight of the razor does all the work. Nice smooth shave. No tugging, no pulling. Really, really nice.
And again, the scent is the scent is marvelous. It's it's nice and light. Again, it's nice. It's it's nice and light. It's fresh. It has that that clean breeze kind of a scent to it. Really nice. And you can get the undertones of some of the, the yeah the lemon and the orange and the and uh, and really kind of like a sea breeze. Absolutely. Kind of like a kind of like a, 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 on the ocean beach. Absolutely. Okay, that's the second pass done. Let's rinse. Well, I have a day's worth of beard growth. That's what I had. And this shave is done. This is absolutely wonderful. I can't believe how quickly the brush loaded and how quickly uh, it produced the lather. That is, uh, I, I really had great hopes for it and it delivered. It really did deliver. We're going to go with my two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Warm to get rid of the excess, ex, excess slickness and a cold water rinse to close my pores. Here's my warm water rinse. All right, yeah, a couple extra splashes to get the slickness off, but it came off quite easily. Here is my uh, cold water rinse right now. Okay, just need an extra splash. I got a clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Very, very nice. Here we go, just like this. Really, really nice. Boy, that's, that's nice. <laughs> that's a nice shave. That really is a nice, nice shave. That's fantastic. Really. It feels, you know what? It just, I don't know what it is. I'm looking at, I haven't changed the lighting in here. I haven't changed anything, but I'm looking at myself in the mirror and there is a brightness and energy uh, to my skin right now. It's just, it really, it really is, uh, it just, it, 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 it there, like I say, there's a brightness there. I just, it's just, I'm looking at that. I look so clean shaven, but it, there's like, uh, like I say, like an energy there. It's really, it's remarkable. I, <laughs> I can't quite describe it. I'm trying to. The words will come to me. Okay, I'm just going to wet my alum block here. Under cold water, let's see what kind of feedback we get. Nice and smooth. Smooth as ice. No stinging. No zinging. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Maybe, 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 like a, maybe some surface zings just a little bit. You know, maybe it's tightening up the skin. I guess that's what it really is. It's acting as an astringent. I think that's what I'm feeling. Okay, uh, just put it into the dry dock and set it right there and let the, uh, let the air circulate around and do its thing. Okay, let's take a look at this brush here. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at those peaks. Look at that. This is some, this is some great, great shaving soap. Look at that. Uh, this, this is 
This is some really, really terrific, terrific shaving soap. Love the scent, love the lather, love the thick carpet and protection that it gave me. Uh, fantastic, really, really fantastic. Wow. And I'm glad I did uh, a bloom to it because I think it needs water. And uh, next time around, maybe I'll do a dry load and use a, a brush that's a little more wet, that is wetter. And I think that'll, that'll work as well. But boy, this was, uh, this, was, this was great. This was really, really good. Okay, I'm just going to... And the brush cleaned out very nicely. I mean, it just cleaned completely. So there's no soap residue or anything uh, stuck on this brush. It cleaned off very, very nicely. Check that out. You know, I didn't even do any, <laughs> I didn't even do any buffing or blotting here. I mean, it's, I mean, that's how, that's how quickly this cleaned up. Of course, this is a terrific brush, the Peregrino, but look, I mean, that's, that's great. That's great, great soap. That's great shaving soap. Wow. All right, we're just going to finish it off with the uh, Sphinx Citrange. Citrange, I believe is how it's pronounced. C-I-T-R-A-N-G-E, uh, kind of like orange, citrus, orange, citrange, I believe is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. And this is a nice scent. That's very, very nice. And you can see, I'll try to show you here, it is a, it is a milky white there. See that? So it's got a lot of great stuff in there. So we're going to go ahead and just... Yeah, I get a little more orange in the splash coming through. But immediately there are moisturizing qualities that really, really kick in. That is really nice. So much so, I'm going to use a little bit for upstairs. That's nice. That's really, really nice. Wow. Great shave. Wow, this was really, really some wonderful, wonderful shaving soap and aftershave, aftershave splash. This is the real deal. As I say, uh, this company, SphinxBeard.com, they got you covered on both sides of the field. Uh, whether you want to grow a beard and maintain it and keep it looking great, or if you want to just get some great shaving soap uh, that will give you a really, really nice shave. Boy, check them out. They are fantastic. I'll have links below to both of these products and also to their shaving soaps and also to their main page if you're considering growing a beard as well. Uh, but like I say, however you want to do it, they've got you covered. I know that uh, I have some friends who grow a beard during hockey season when their team is uh, in the playoffs and everything, and then if they don't make it, all the way, they end up shaving that beard off. So this is the company they should <laughs> they should look into. Uh, it'll help them maintain that beard during playoff season. And if their team comes up short, they've got something for uh, for that uh, great shave. So this is this was really really terrific. Uh, Citrus, and here it is uh, right here. You can see that man. There's just a lot of a lot of cream in here also from that brush load. Just fan. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And again, love the scent. Perfectly described on their page. Doesn't hit you over the head. It's a nice light fragrance, but it, it really does fill the room. It's but it's a nice light fragrance. So it's not hitting you over the room, but it really does envelop you. And I I can I get it right now from the aftershave balm and the soap. It's marvelous. It really is a terrific so uh, scent on this shave soap, and I'm really looking forward to using Smolder. That's another awesome scent too. So check them out, sphinxbeard.com. Like I say, they got you covered, whether you're growing a beard, whether you're shaving your beard. This is fantastic. And yes, <laughs> they went to the four corners of the earth to get the premium ingredients. Yes, I believe them. It's amazing. Did you see how fast that was? What a beautiful lather that was. I'm excited, and I'm gonna try uh, I'm going to try Smolder down the road. This was absolutely wonderful. So give them a try. I'll have links below. Really terrific, terrific shaving soap. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. 
please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you hell when next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Uh, check out the Executive Shaving Company, use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog, for my comic strip George, or the cartoons, or the videos like this. I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash marksray, where you'll find all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized, so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Check out sphinxbeard.com for some great shaving soap and great beard care products based on the performance of this shaving soap, and it is top shelf. Their beard care products are going to be absolutely wonderful. So if you know somebody who is uh, growing a beard, maintaining a beard, get them over to sphinxbeard.com because, uh, yeah, top shelf ingredients, really, really terrific, terrific stuff. Based on the performance of the shaving soap, I can honestly tell you, their beard care products are probably going to be absolutely awesome. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.